Hey guys, so over the past couple of days I was working on a little DIY project and it occurred to me that I should share with you guys a tool that I find to be indispensable for working on uh, DIY projects with my hands and particularly uh, tiny objects such as uh, this current project that I was working on and that is a head mounted magnifying glass. Uh, so I'll cover that in a second, um, but just to show you what I'm talking about, this is what I was working on. So this is an ND filter, and there's also a normal filter. There's two filters for this uh, camera lens that I have. So this is a vintage Minolta reflex, 500 millimeter uh, reflex lens, and it has these ND filters that fit in here. Well, there's a retaining clip that's made out of cheap plastic with a teeny tiny plastic tip and a spring that keeps this little pin in here and this is under constant tension and I guess over you know 30 something years that tension was enough to cause this plastic to expand and ultimately fail and that happened on both of these and I handle them very gently but it broke nonetheless so I had to work with these tiny tiny parts and it was just impossible I think without something like this um, here's what the part looks like when it's mounted in a vise and you can just see how tiny this is the subject here and you know I was needing to align things uh, tighten things, glue things, and you can imagine if you're doing this and having to put your magnifying glass down and, and do something, it, it's just so much more difficult um, to, and it's so much greater to have both of your hands free. So enter the head mounted lens. And this guy right here is called the Pros Kit MA-016. I'll leave a link in the description as always. And I'll just walk you around the, the item now. So what we have up front here is a articulating integrated light. You can angle it up and down. You can angle it left to right. And it's not the best light by any means. It does illuminate your subject. And certainly if you had no other lighting, this would be, you know, indispensable. What I find myself doing though, honestly, a lot of the times is using a secondary source of light like this one here that I can angle in various ways uh, or uh, I'll take my head mounted uh, light and I'll adjust it and mount it on the table like that and angle it as I, as I need to. But um, if you didn't have anything else, you would certainly want an integrated light. So that works pretty well. Going around to the side here, we've got a tension knob on both sides. And these adjust this tension right here. So as you can imagine, you might be working on your subject, but you're not going to always want to look through the lens. Sometimes you want to see it with the naked eye. So all you have to do is flip this up. It sits on your head like that. And when you're ready to go again, you flip it back down. So that's what those two things are for. On the back here, we've got a locking uh, adjustment strap for the size of your head. Now, that works pretty well. Uh, they've also included a thin vinyl cover for the front of the headband here. And, you know, it's cheap, it's thin, but it sure is a lot better than having a hard plastic right up against your forehead. And then we have the lenses. And we've got two lenses here, and I'll show you how that works. And then a third lens that's a monocle that flips down for a single eye. Looking at the inside, you can see that we've got one lens that's fixed. And here I'll put a couple of parts down here so we can maybe get some idea of the magnification. So we've got one lens that's fixed. A second lens that pops down and by the way I do have some close-up pictures at the end of this video to show you um, exactly what it would look like with the eye 
this lens pops down increasing the magnification and then we have a third lens to increase the magnification further and this thing it just it just works great I mean you got hands-free magnification um, and I forgot to mention the price that's the best thing about this fifteen dollars fifteen dollars for that now it's not the best quality I've had mine for a couple of years but I could definitely see that uh, you know this is all made out of plastic so it's probably not gonna last for ever um, but yeah for fifteen bucks once this thing dies I'll just go out and buy a new one now you'll find online that there are different examples of this from different manufacturers so if you guys find one that you like that's you know around in the same price range maybe it's got some better features maybe it's sturdier more sturdier built I would love to know so please share anything that you have regarding that in the comments alright so I'm gonna show you what this looks like on the head and I'm also gonna show you uh, what it looks like through through the through the lens okay so here's what it looks like on my head hopefully that's focusing and coming out okay as you can see you can flip this up and it'll stay in place and you can flip it down you can rotate this other lens down And that's how that works. Okay, now onto the sample images. So first up we have just the naked eye, and then we have just the fixed lens in place. So this is looking through the lens, and then we have the fixed lens with the secondary lens flipped down, and then finally we're gonna have both of the main lenses along with the monocle. So you can see you get some really good magnification there, and you can imagine just how handy that is if you're trying to work on some tiny objects and you want to have both hands free. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up my review of the Pros Kit MA016 head mounted magnifier. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, I would really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. And if you guys like the kind of content I'm putting out, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I try to answer all the questions that I get. All right, guys, so thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.